Hi, thanks for tuning in to watch my Mini Builder Carousel how to videos. In this video, we're going to talk about the dynamic background and how to customize it for your own game. So let's get to it. So, the dynamic background I'm talking about is if you look in behind the menu here, we have the fire uh, flaring up, we have smoke, we have sparks. Uh, we can actually change that to whatever we desire. So, let's go ahead and go to uh, the main menu and then go to settings. You see, this is a blank one. So, we'll go ahead and say, hey, we want to do a different background for this. Uh, uh, settings menu. So I'll go ahead and escape out of here. And what you'll find out is a um, uh, look at the map. There's something called a B, um, BP background particles right here. Now what that is is a controller that controls all kinds of settings. If you look over here you can sit there and see what default settings I have it set to. Uh, so there's smoke rate, uh, slow, fast, density slow and fast, light intensity, flame slow, embers fast, embers slow, heat, and time dilation. So let's go over those real quickly. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is go to the player controller. So go to blueprints, player controller menu, and then underneath there we'll find a um, a uh, function called update environment. Click on that, open it, and when you scroll over here, uh, when this is called, it looks at what level we're in. So a main menu, campaign, multiplayer settings, uh, save settings, you can sit there and do different backgrounds for different menu uh, choices. So right now it's blank, so I'll go ahead and copy this one and paste it right here, and I'll have settings now go to its own version. So right now, uh, right now it's exactly the same as it was, I just copied the same class. Uh, uh, variables to use, right? So hit play and settings, see it's blank. All right, perfect. So now what we need to do is uh, really adjust it real time because just guessing is too slow to do it that way. So I have a little uh, bit you can set. If you click on the uh, BP background particles itself and go over to the settings um, and go to default. And right here is where we can say update parameters real time, click on that. All right, so that allows us to actually change these to see what it looks like in real time. So what I like to do now is go ahead and hit play. And then we'll go ahead and go to settings to where it's loading that background up. And then I'll go over here to this background particles to click on it and then come down. And now what I have are these options that I can set real time and see what's actually happening. So right now everything's pretty much turned off. Uh, so I'll go ahead and turn on. The first thing I want to do is set the density up. Uh, of the uh, smoke. So I'm going to go ahead and say one. Uh, it's not emitting anything right now. So I'll go ahead and just turn on one. You kind of start seeing how it starts emitting. And pretty quickly, you see you've got a black smoke. Well, the reason why it's black because the light is turned way down. So I'll go ahead and go to the light here and we'll go up 0.1. And then see, okay, it's a little darker smoke. Maybe we'll go to 0 0.2, 0 0.3. And you go, you know, you get the point, go to one. You can see how, how light that gets. So for demo purposes, I'll go to 0 0.3 here. Now we see that light, uh, that smoke just coming in all kinds of different uh, angles. There's not any directionality. That's all ununiform. And uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, uh, lower the density of that. So right now it's at one. We'll go to say 0 0.6 and it should break up a little bit more in the background. So uh, it takes a few seconds for the, the, uh, the smoke to catch up because of lifetime. All right, now what we see is that it has thinned out, and we can actually thin it out even more. We go like 0.3, and then I can uh, increase the rate up here. So if I wanted actually more of that less dense fog uh, or smoke coming in, I can go ahead and change like 3x times, and it'll start spawning in three times. Now, I do have that clamped at either 3 or 5. You could change that in the particle system if you want. I don't want to go too crazy on the, uh, the frame rate. So I'll go ahead and turn that off for now. And what I want to show next is the uh, the fast. So I'll go ahead and turn the density up on the fast one and um, let the slow uh, smoke fade out. And when I go ahead and turn on the fast one, what you'll see is it's more uh, directional coming at the player from the center of the screen. So that's more of that kind of a particle. I go ahead and go up three times if I wanted to on that one too and play with its density the same as the other way. So I could change that to 0.5 so it blends in a little nicer. Uh, I can even have both of these running at the same time if I really wanted to and then have a good mix of both of them. So you can see how that works. All right, so now the next thing to talk about is, okay, well, let's go ahead and add some, some sparks into it. So I'll go ahead and go to uh, the, um, the embers here. Uh, there's two different types of sparks. Uh, we'll go ahead and do just uh, fast, and fast just moves all around everywhere. And I think uh, I have it capped up to 10x on this one. You can put up to 10x and get lots of sparks going around pretty crazy. We also have a smaller setting for slow. We'll put that on one. You'll see there's the slower moving embers, and you can also go up to 10 on those. As you see, it starts moving quite a bit around. 
Uh, so we'll go ahead and not go so extreme. We'll put maybe uh, two of those and let's get like three of the fast. No, one of the fast. There we go. Uh, so now we have some kind of cool sparks and smoke in the background. So the next thing we can do is go ahead and add some fire. So this flames uh, rate slow. Let's go ahead and, and bring that in. Just uh, just one. You'll start seeing flames pop in. Now you can see that it gets darker real quick because the, the light uh, and then the emissiveness of the uh, fire itself. We adjust that in, in a second. Right now kind of get the uh, the volume of fire you want. If you want less, you just want a point one. you can go really low, right? Or you want it to get three times, you can just get an inferno going on the ground. There we go. Uh, so the next thing you want to do before we start adjusting light intensity, I want to adjust the bloom intensity of the heat. So that's what this variable here is heat. As I start to ramp that up, you'll start seeing that uh, amplify um, the heat itself. So I'll go ahead and say let's 10 and 10. You can see that now it's really hot. It looks like it's getting hot because you see more of that blurring when you're up close like that. So I can even go crazy. Let's see, what does 20 do? 20 looks really, really, really hot if you really want it to burn. So at this point, I would go ahead and go to the uh, light adjustment, start increasing that up. So you just get to a color that you liked. Let's go to two. You can start seeing the inferno really getting hot there and the smoke coming back, back in on the colors and the, the sparks flying everywhere. So there we go. That's a pretty cool look that we have. Um, and I want to go ahead and save that. So what we would do is, okay, I like the settings and now we can go and stop and go to here and set those settings up. So that's pretty much how you set that up for uh, your own look. Um, if you have any problems with that, let me know. There's one other feature that you can use on here. Uh, it's a global feature. Uh, it doesn't affect, you can't change it during runtime, but you can click on the, uh, the BP background particles itself and go to this thing called time dilation. And we can slow down the, uh, the particle rate in the background. So let's say for the fire example, well, on the multiplayer, we'll go ahead and do 0.1 on this and start it up. And when you go over to the multiplayer, you see the background fire is just slow motion and it gives a different kind of effect. So you can sit there and play with time for how fast the particle plays in the background. So there you go. That's all the cool features you can do with that actor blueprint here, the background particles. If you guys have any uh, questions or problems, leave a comment below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.